inside out. Hit this one inside in. Now hit this one high over the net. Give me a moon ball. Okay, give me another moon ball. Okay, and now hit it as low as over the net as you possibly can. Okay, so you already know how to do all this. <laughs> yeah. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. So anybody that plays tennis at a little bit higher level can do this. Yeah. Now here's the, the tricky part is when you hit at your maximum speed. That's where more of the intuitive way of playing comes out. Yeah. When I talk about like genetic predispositions, where some players are naturally have more tendencies to play with more top spin and higher, while others have naturally more tendencies to play lower and, and flatter. In the confounds of a top spin forehand that struck low to high. So every forehand that struck low to high um, is going to have a certain amount of top spin on it. Okay. The heaviness of it is going to differ and the height of the ball is going to differ when the ball is struck close to the high speed or we call it max speed. Okay. In your case, when I had you, when I did this test with you on the first day, unfortunately your max speed is not a heavy topspin forehand, it's a very flat forehand. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's not only flat, but it also has instability here. So it's like a slap shot. Okay. So the ball sprays very wildly all over the court. Yeah. So the solution, you already know this, we talked about this many times, that you needed to put topspin on the ball in order to control it. Okay. And in essence, not allow yourself to hit all the way hard. And so the process is to train yourself to hit with this topspin and, and build enough confidence where that becomes your new way of playing. You build enough repetition where this is, becomes ingrained in your system, where it's accessible to you, even close to the highest speed or at the max speed. So we're kind of rewiring, we're recalibrating your natural way of playing. Does that make sense? Okay, yes. Yes? Yes, yes. So your concern of not being able to uh, manipulate the ball the way you want it might be true when you're hitting very hard, where you don't have a lot of control. Yeah. But when you hit like this off a stationary ball uh, and you're, you're hitting maybe 80% power level, you know how to do the, with the ball whatever you want. Yeah. You can uh, hit that way, that way, high, low. You already know how to do it. Yeah. So the question is only whether when you go full blast, because I want you to get close to the max level to be able to swing fully without losing control, are we there yet? I don't think so. we're quite there yet. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, the last part that you, you, I understand until the part you want me to hit close so, to the max full speed? Not yet. Not, because uh, I, not I, don't, yet. I don't think we're quite there yet. Okay, okay. We're not quite there yet because it was only a few days ago when I had you hit with full speed and there was, uh, uh, the results were not good. Okay. So until then we still have to do this. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to take. Okay. So does that make any sense? Yes. So because the, I think my natural to yes, this is very clear for me. Okay. If you if you tell me hit with your power like we do, my power, natural power, it was like this, but yeah. I can control it in like this. Yeah, you can. I, control, I'm not you, good. You can control it. But, but for me, it will be the natural thing to do, to hit. Uh, well, if you want to get like, see, even players on tour. They only sometimes can hit full blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're feeling super confident, if they're feeling the ball. Yeah, yeah. There's very rarely a circumstance, circumstance where somebody goes 100% all out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, people can't see this uh, on the TV because everything looks like they're hitting hard, but there's a range there between yeah. 80 and, and 95%, so to speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when players are really on, like when Federer is playing at his absolute best, when he's feeling it, uh, when Adal is doing that or Djokovic, then they go more towards 95% and everything is going in and they have full confidence they're swinging, they're swinging wild. Kyrgios can play like this yep. too sometimes. Um, for example, let's, let's drop down like uh, a, a bunch of levels and the match that we played yesterday. Yeah. Remember I told you the story of how I didn't really feel my forehand for months. Yeah. I was making a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And, and a lot of it was related to my footwork and my timing was off and I just wasn't hitting the ball. Uh, cleanly and I wasn't finishing it right I told you the story yeah, yeah. but then we play yesterday and then remember I hit that one forehand down the line yeah, was yeah. like cl shot. was clean passing shot yeah. ah! and then all of a sudden I started feeling the forehand yeah. and I think there was one sequence where I made I think four or five forehand winners in a row yeah. three on my serve and then and then two more in your return game yeah. so all of a sudden 
I was like, now I can swing. Yeah. I can swing now. Because okay. I felt the confidence that I can let it go more. Okay. Now, when I say I wasn't feeling my forehand, it's, it's very nuanced because even though I wasn't having confidence, in it, I still could make 100 forehands in a row when I rally yeah, or against the wall. Yeah, you can make a lot of winners. But I'm just talking about like in a match, 100%. I don't trust to hit it hard because okay. I know there's a high chance to miss it. Okay. But there are times when every player is going to feel that confidence and is going to be able to swim, swim more. Okay. So with you right now, I still would like you to focus heavily on, on, on control and making tons of forehands and keeping the power level 80%. Okay. And then we just do that for a while. Okay. Until we build the confidence and okay, the muscle memory. It's uh, sorry, interrupted you. It's a uh, new thing. So yeah, I, I need, I need to have solutions for my case. Yes. This is a new solution. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. And so, um, as far as the technique is concerned, it's still this, it's very simple. Um, we're going to try to be very clean here. Yeah. Right. And we're going to also try to use the feet in a very intense way and, and not try to load early, okay. but to load more inside of the swing. Okay. Remember we talked about this. Okay. And then when it comes to the finish, you want to you want to keep the finish that you have now, which is good. It's a, you have a very clean swing path. It's a vertical swing path. And then you turn the racket over right here like this. Just keep doing that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, today when we, when we were hitting, I think this is a positive thing that we, that we try two days before. Uh, I coordinate this makes a lot of sense for me because I, you ask me, use your body, use your body. And I, I really can't use my body because yeah. imagine if I use here and the ball goes to the fence, if I use my body, I beat the ball in the house. I understand exactly what you're saying. Okay. And you're relating, and this is very, very common, you're relating using the body with hitting full blast. And those two, two things are not necessarily related. Yeah. Because using the body should happen always yeah. at a 100 percent level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is using the body? It's footwork, it's loading, unloading, it's yeah. rotation. 100 percent every single time. Okay. But the actual swing speed that's happening with the arm and to some extent with the body, that's what can be reduced at very nuanced levels. Okay. That are going to be indistinguishable to somebody watching you from the side. It's going to be in your mind, the, the difference is going to be maybe bigger, but in reality, the difference is very small. So the thing that I'm asking you to do is, it's a very subtle thing. That's what I want you to understand. So don't, in other words, don't be afraid to use the body. That's something that I, okay. that is unbelievably necessary in order to play tennis where you want to play it. Okay. If without the high intensity, without the body, forget. Okay. You can forget tennis. Makes a lot of sense. You, you see what I'm saying? But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I see what he's saying. You mean when you use the body, and it's like, ah, you want to like. You think you've got to hit, rip every ball, not necessarily, you know, there's... Yeah. Just think of the pros like Rafa or Djokovic. They can hit... Even. Maybe not so much Federer because he's an ultra-aggressive player, but there's probably five different modes or probably ten different modes of forehands that they hit. Djokovic, just think, he has the one that he knows is going to go in a million times, the little bit higher one. Yeah. Then, but he also has the blaster. Yeah. You know this one? Yeah. The yeah. flat one? Yeah. he starts ripping winners? Yes, I know. And in, be in between know. those two, there are like probably many other one types of forehands that he hits. Yeah. But all of them have body. intensity and body involvement. Okay. okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Make a lot of sense. All right. Now, look, I want you to do all forehands and I'm going to stand in different spots on the court and we try to keep the ball going as long as, as possible. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I like when you say she stays here. You call her a she. <laughs> yeah. This is a girl. Yeah. This is in Portuguese, right? Yes, in Portuguese, the ball is a girl. We talk about she. 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 I she, like that. She, she's a, she. The ball is she. <laughs> this is good. I like this. <laughs> One thing, Felipe, when you feel like you're not in a good position, this is where you have to go probably down to 60% and put it higher. So when you're not set up well, you just go like this. Okay. You're slower, higher, and a lot of safety, okay? okay. 
Okay. Okay, Felipe, come on up. You're overhitting a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I think you're overhitting just a tad. Sorry. You're overhitting a little bit. Overhitting? Over, overhitting. It's a lot. Too much. Okay. It's probably 90% now, or 85. Okay. So I have to reduce a little bit. Okay. Okay, while trying to maintain the intensity, right? I think you're overhitting. There's too many mistakes and also too many balls going very straight. Okay. So when I see the ball going straight, I know that's like, we talked about it's your intuitive forehand that we have to break. Okay. And we have to slow down a little bit so you get more shape on it. Okay. Does it make sense? Okay. Because you're missing hard and long a lot. Okay. All right, come on. Oh. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, Felipe. Go, 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 go. Okay, way better. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come again. Don't push. Don't push. Go, go, go. Ho, 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 ho. All right, Felipe. Good. Take a break. Good job. Very good, man. See how, see how good you're playing? Yeah. This is how you have to play. When you play against Milan today, play like this. Yeah. Don't try to blast him off the court. You have to make it physical. Because here's the thing. When you make a lot of shots, your confidence in the match is going to grow and then you're slowly going to start feeling the ball and start taking chances. Well, a lot of players make the mistake and they're aggressive without having earned the right to be aggressive. And they start blasting and they start making mistakes and they lose the match easy. So you have to earn the right to go hard by building confidence. 
Now, sometimes you can come on the court and feel it right away and you have the confidence all the match, but that's rare. That's very rare. Natural, no, normally this doesn't happen. So making the, in other words, like what you're doing now with the way you're rallying with me, if you play like this in a match, this is your road to developing a, a great forehand. Yeah. Doing this tens of thousands of times, it's gonna slowly transition to you feeling the confidence to go a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, yeah. just a little bit. Yes. And it's gonna come. You might not even notice it too. It might just come by itself. Follow my lead. Come. All four hands. Here we go. Come on. Good. Find the ball. Here we go. Back it up. Come on. Better footwork, Felipe. More intensity with the feet. Come on. High intensity with the feet. Bop, 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 bop. Come on. Small steps on your toes. Come on. Come on. Go. Come again. Small steps. Come on. Get off the ground. Get off the ground. Toes. 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 Attack. Come. And you missed it. All right, feed me a couple. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Here, go there. Keep them in this box right here, in this area. Okay. Yeah, you can feed it with a racket. All right, feed them. Move me around, man. Come on, move me around. Yes. Oh. Ah, come on! No way! Ah! No way! One more! Ah! Okay. Here you see. You saw the old man with the intensity. Yeah. You saw this. Yeah. I'm very slow, but I try hard to okay, be here, to keep moving the whole time. Okay, okay. Because you can't predict the ball. You could get away with it here because the ball is easy, but you can't get away with it on a true ball in a match. Okay. So train yourself to be on the toes more. Okay. And more intensity. Okay. When you're done with a set of 10 balls, okay. you should be like this. Okay. You see how I'm breathing? Yeah. This is normal. Okay. Okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, back. Come on. Come on. Ah. And attack, come. Go, go. It's very important to play like this. Okay. Because the, what's going to happen is like... You don't know where the ball is going. You're going to be one step wrong. You're here trying to play, all of a sudden the ball maybe is like here, and now you don't have that step and you're going to hit like this. Okay. Or you're going to hit like this. Okay. That's the problem. Yeah. Come. Ah. Come. Ah. Come. Ah. Come. Ah. Come again. 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 Go. Good. You see how tired you are? Yeah. When I used to train with my dad, it was before school. We trained at like 6 a.m. in the morning and he only had a half hour because he was teaching tennis all day, right? So I don't have very little time to play with him. And that half an hour was like hell. Like I was close to throwing up afterwards. So this is the type of intensity that you need to practice with. Okay. I don't know if you see this in Brazil, but what I see here a lot in the United States is people just plant themselves over here in the rallying forehand cross court yeah. with like 10% intensity for like an hour and then back and cross court and then the water break. When are you ever going to play like this? Because Never. tennis requires this from you. Yeah. If you play somebody that's at your level or above your level, you're going to need this intensity to be able to survive. So you have to train the way you're going to play in a match. Come on. 
Contact in front. Again. Again. Find the forehand. Find the forehand. Find the forehand. On the run. Attack ball. Defense. Attack ball. Find the forehand. Find the forehand. Again, find the forehand. Come on. On the run. Attack. Blast. Yes. Vai! <laughs>